No hard feelings, point break. You got a mean swing. <laughs> yeah, the first time I played the character was, um, was, was so much fun. Um, there was a Shakespearean element to it. And I started it all to feel a little bit too familiar, you know, and, and this time around really wanted to do something different. And thankfully, our director felt the same way and Marvel, the studio, felt the same way. And so we, you know, we changed everything from the aesthetic, the look, to the character, to the sort of tone of the movie, to the music, to the action, everything, you know, it became a lot more improvised, uh, unpredictable sort of pace and humor. I love it, yeah. It's incredibly sort of freeing and liberating as a as an artist to just explore unknown territory, you know, and not being locked into, you know, what I thought the character was, just kind of breaking the rules in that sense. And uh, I think it, yeah, it gave a sort of new life and a rebirth to it. It was something in the comic books that had always existed, like Planet Hulk, where, and we'd sort of toyed with the idea previously, and then um, once it came to fruition and was on the page, it was something I was really excited about. And there was a different version of Hulk in this film where he's much more articulate and has a greater sense of humour, and therefore brings out a different tone in Thor as well. I wouldn't say one's more easy than the other, like all of them take a certain amount of uh, you know, training and commitment to sort of um, yeah, create a certain style of fighting. Um, but I enjoyed the swords, you know, just for a different element because I've been fighting with the hammer for a number of years, you know. Uh, well, firstly, thank you for being fans and uh, I wouldn't have a job without you and um, I think you're gonna love this film, it's gonna be much, much different and uh, in a hugely positive way than anything they've seen before. So, thank you.